Hey, how's it going? I am Rakaba18. Today I am bringing you another video in Rogue Company. This time we're going to be talking about Mac. Mac is a Defender class in Rogue Company. He is one of the best in my opinion. I would even describe him more as a hybrid Defender slash Breacher. Uh, but before we get into all the details about Mac, I want to make sure everybody's liking this video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done that. It helps me out immensely and it's absolutely free. So please remember to check out the, uh, also check out the Twitch channel. I am live Monday through Friday over on Twitch at Merkaba 18. We play Rainbow Six Extraction. We play Rogue Company. We just started playing some Overwatch. Uh, and we also are going to be picking up on all the new releases with Modern Warfare coming out, Warzone, the new DMZ mode, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you check out that as well. Before we get into it, the actual content with Rogue Company, I want to tell you also real quickly here about our channel sponsors here, Rogue Energy. They make a variety of very, very good products uh, with caffeine, essential vitamins, zero sugar, uh, and their supplement is designed to... Uh, essentially prevent spikes in energy and then crashes the way you get with some energy drinks. Uh, zero sugar, as I said. Also, if you are sensitive to caffeine, they have a hydrate series without caffeine so that you can stay hydrated for those late night gaming sessions without having to deal with the jitters if you're sensitive to caffeine or get your caffeine elsewhere like through coffee. Uh, make sure to go through and check out the panel below or in the description. There is a partner link. If you use my code Merkaba at checkout, you will get 20% off. And you can try some free samples uh, as well. Uh, just make sure to add those three free samples one time per customer uh, in the description. There is a link to all of that. That's enough of that. Let's talk about Mac. So Mac, as I said, is a defender class. What does that mean? Well, essentially, he is going to be a defender of an objective. He's going to defend a point, an area, uh, etc. I would also sort of like, as I said, I would describe him more as a hybrid breacher slash defender uh, because he is so good as an offensive operator. Um, I would say so like one of the most defensive oriented operators that I could think of off the top of my head would be like Vi. Uh, who doesn't do as well in offensive situations, but can, obviously, um, given that this is a tactical shooter, you know, anybody can shoot their gun, etc. Uh, but Mac is going to use a variety of tools to defend a point to prevent enemies from coming forward and, uh, for example, arming a bomb or capturing an objective. So he has, as you can see, his passive at the bottom left-hand side means that he gets extra armor to start. Uh, which is really going to come in handy. He is quite sturdy. He has uh, among the highest starting health in the game, and then he can actually add to that and make it even better. So what else does he bring to the table? Well, he brings a light bomb. So essentially, if you hit your alt button, he will plant it, and then you will see here that it takes a moment to arm, and then it will start to count down. And as you can see, once that reaches the bottom, like an hourglass, it's going to automatically detonate, and anything within range of that circle is going to automatically be blinded as if they had been hit with a flash grenade. You can also mount it on walls. Or uh, not in that case. I'll show you here in just a second. You can mount it on certain walls. For some reason, that one wouldn't do it. But you can mount it on cover. You can mount it on different things. Uh, you can also detonate it at any given time during that timer, and it will automatically go off. Now, the, the key caveat with his light bomb is that obviously... Anything out of line of sight. So like, let's say, for example, there's a light bomb right there. And if you're back here behind cover, it's not going to blind you. If you're out here, it will. If you're out here, it will not. Now, let's see if we can get this to attach to something so that I can demonstrate. Some of these don't work. But in a, in a game, if there's a piece of barricade or a cover, it will. it is supposed to be able to mount on certain things. I just don't think you can do it here in the shooting range. So... Uh, what else does he bring to the table? Well, for starters, he has access to LMGs and SMGs. And with the advent of the mastery system, you can now access any of those that you want. I personally think that the Conviction is the sing one of the best guns in the game, maybe the best gun in the game. So I will almost always start with the Conviction. Uh, and depending on if I'm playing on defense in a round or on offense, I'm going to choose the APS for uh, defense or the grenade for offense. And that is one of the reasons his kit is so hybrid-esque, is that he has a direct uh, gadget for any of those scenarios. So let's say we're playing defense, we can take that. Now the perks that I'm going to take first, the top priorities, are going to be restock, and I'll tell you why here in just a minute, bounce back, 
and armor. Now, armor is one that I'll probably purchase first, and then I will go with restock, and then I would probably do bounce back. From there, I'm going to go and upgrade the gun all the way. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick up a secondary and then upgrade those. And then from there, you can kind of just pick and choose what you want to do. And then from there, it'll kind of just cascade. Now, the main reason that I buy restock is because it will automatically reload your gun anytime you down somebody. Let me show you what this looks like. Now, with Mac, he he's one of those classes, once he gets... he's He can be very fragile because he's going to be at the front uh, like front lines of defenses in some cases. But if he gets to rolling, as you can see, and gets his guns to shooting, there's just no way to really stop him. I can literally, because of restock, just sit here and never have to never not, never have to move from ADS. That also goes for this. So you can sit here. Even if you're not ADS, you can just as long as you're getting downs, each time that downs or eliminates somebody, it's going to automatically reload your gun. Which is why Mac is one of the best defenders in the game. Because you can sit and hold an entire point for forever. Until somebody flanks you from the left or right, or somebody gets behind you, uh, or you're double teamed or something. There's a way in which you can obviously this you can stop this, but it becomes much more difficult once he gets his gun rolling. And then you add that with this in the and take a second to deploy and now you're controlling the point you're just literally sitting here adsing hit firing and everything's gonna die so as you can see mac is disgusting and i think he's more disgusting as a result of his conviction uh in the gun and the kit that he brings to the table so what do you all think of this video? What do you all think of Mac? Uh, let me know what, I, what you think I missed. Let me know what you think I should do next. Uh, I hope to see you over on the Twitch channel. Everybody have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching.